Dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. Thank you very much for all your support. You know, Data Analytics Talks channel is for talking on various topics on data analytics. It could be data architecture, data integration, data visualization, or data management, anything of that sort. So recently, we have started a new series on data management. And we have seen in the first video, we have seen what is data, what is information, how data becomes an organizational asset and some of the principles of data. And today I would like to continue the session. I will be focusing on master data, reference data, and the difference between master data and reference data. And you know, the whole data management is guided by DAMA International, you know, one of the international body which is supporting the data management professionally. And very famous DAMA V, you know, in the middle, you can see the data governance and you can see around data governance, you can see all the activities of the data management. The topic which I'm going to cover or start today is master data and reference data. I will cover about the master data and reference data. Then I will take you to a place where we need to understand why do we need a master data management? Why do we need an MDM? There are so many MDM tools. And what are the needs of that? That's where we will end up. So with this session, I think we will be able to know what is master data, what is reference data, then the difference between that, then we will also see that in the context of an organization, what it is. Let's start. Yes, the first thing first, as a data management professional, knowing DAMA, EMBOP, data management framework would be the best. So why? Because the DAMA International has a lot of things to support every data management professional in terms of guidelines, in terms of framework. And what you see in this screen is the DAMA wheel, the famous DAMA wheel. You know, the DAMA via Bivoka framework goes into more depth about the knowledge areas that make up the overall scope of data management. In the framework, which framework? DAMA DMBOK data management framework, DMA wheel, that's what you are seeing. This is the DMA wheel, defines the data management knowledge area, data management knowledge area. So it places data governance. It places data governance at the center of the data management activities. So what is in the center is data governance and this data governance is being placed in the center of all other data management activities. What are the main data management activities? You know, data architecture, data modeling and design, data storage and operation, data security, data integration and interoperability, documents, content management, reference, data, reference and master data, data warehousing, business intelligence, metadata, data quality. So these are some of the important data management activities and data governance occupies the center position. Because why? Because this required for consistency within and balance between functions. The reason why data management or data governance is in the middle is to provide a consistency within and balance between functions. Master data management is one of the activities of the data management. You know, master data, uh, that's where reference and master data. This is just one of the data management activities. Today, I am going to start uh, discussing on reference and master data. You know, though you can see a lot of data management activities, you know, the organizations are free to implement those activities based on the need. Not necessary that you should implement everything together. Okay. So it can take time based on the need of the hour, implement the data management activities. So our focus is reference and master data today. So the first question is what is master data? If you are an application developer, I'm sure you have some idea about what is master data. In every application, you will have some master tables, right? In an 
attendance system, you have the students, you have teachers, you have the period. In a sales system, you have products, you have vendors, you have customers. So every application that we build has some kind of master tables. Even I was also thinking, yes, master data means master tables. We can directly compare with master table. In a way that is correct, but we can understand you know, more about master data now. According to data management book of knowledge, master data is about the business entities that provide context for business transaction and analysis. So few things. This is about business entities. Then what is that business entities do that provides context for business transaction and analysis? So some of the examples in any organization we have employees, we have customers, we have products. These are some of the business entities, right? And they give context for business transaction and analysis. So going further, master data should represent authoritative, most accurate data available about the key business entities. So they may also be called as trusted sources or best version of the truth or best version we have. I'm not sure if you understand why trusted source, best version of truth and all. So, as I initially mentioned, we are understanding about master data is a master table for an application. Okay. But why, why are we calling best version? So, are there any multiple version of same entity? Yes, we can answer that later on. Why we say there are multiple version of employee? Why we say there are multiple versions of customer? Why do we say multiple version of product? Is it a possible scenario? So taking the best out of these employee records. For example, Biju has many records so that take the best out of uh, these options. I don't know. We can see that later on. Why do we call it as a master data is most trusted source, a golden record, and so on. So we'll come to know that. But as a software developer, uh, they may not think about like, okay, why there are very different version of a same NDT in an organization. So there are scenarios that happens. So we need to find out the best tool, right? The golden record. That's where the master data management comes into picture. Here we are only just uh, talking about the master data. Then if you have a trusted source, then yes, of course, they can be used widely with confidence, right? For example, if I am sure that, no, this entity has the best, latest, accurate knowledge, accurate information, accurate metadata, then you are confident to use it, right? If you are not confident about is or if all the data's data for that particular entity is accurate, then we cannot use with that confidence. So using something with confidence requires the confirmation that yeah, everything is accurate, everything is correct. Again, the the gold it is also known as the golden records. Sometimes master data may be stored as an Excel sheet. Sometimes master data may be stored as an DBMS table, right? So there are various ways how they store master data. Moving on, we are going to see some of the common master data types. You know, business rules typically dictate the format and allowable range of master data values. So common organizational master data includes customer master. You know, take any manufacturing, business, uh, retail, supermarket, anything of that sort where there is a sales that means there is a customer master okay so customer master is one of them then we have 
product must have. The product and services both international and ex external. Right. So the product is inevitable. So common one of the common master data type is product master. Then we have finance master. What is in the financial master? We have the financial structure such as contract, general ledger accounts, cost center, profit center. All these are part of uh, some of the financial master. Then we have partners. What's business partner? Made up of individuals and organization and their roles such as customers, citizens, patients and so on. They are all business partners. Then I only mention like employee data. We cannot have any organization, any company. Nothing can happen without an employee. So employee data is one of the common master data types. Then location. Then we have the location such as addresses and GPS coordinates of the location. So that's also again a master data type. Then asset master, any organization, any company, any firm, any business has asset. So maintaining the master data for asset, of course required. Departments, organization structure, all comes under common master data types. Okay. So if you need to know more about this uh, data types, okay, as I always say, make some search in Google. You can ask nowadays chat GPT, get more information on the types of master data being used in commonly in the use in the in the in the market. I would say this would give you a uh, basics about the master data types. So we have seen about master data. Next topic is reference data. What do you mean by reference data? The reference data is any data used to characterize or classify other data or to relate data to information external to an organization. So most basic reference data consists of code and descriptions. Okay, let me show an example. So here I have task. Okay, we maintain task, right? This, if there is a task management system in which we assign a job to one of our members, then we will track the status of the task. Okay, it could be a workflow or it could be anything. During the life cycle of a task, it can go through various stages. It can be new, it can be assigned, it can be work in progress, it can be resolved, cancelled, pending, fulfilled and so on. As we are discussing about the reference data which is setting the characteristics of a data. So if I want to set the status of a task to any of the stages, then we need to have certain data, right? A data with different stages or status. So that's where we can see here, we have a reference data. A reference data with a code, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and with a description that is new, assigned, work in progress, resolved, cancelled, pending, fulfilled. And you know, to understand it, there is also definition. This is what is called a reference data. So we have seen the master data as an entity, business entity, right? But reference data is a data which is giving a characteristic to another data, another entity. Hope you understand that clearly now. Okay. It is interesting to note that reference data may be stored in different ways to meet different needs. So how the common storage techniques used for reference data are code tables in relational databases, similar to this one. With a code, with a description, with a definition. So it will be stored in a relational database. Then the first data management systems that maintain business entities. Again, there is a reference data management. It's a master data management like that's RDM. The other one is MDM. There's also a reference data management systems that maintain business entities. Then the third way is object attribute specific metadata to specify permissible values with a focus on API. So that's the third way of storing reference data. Got it. So we have seen some of the characteristics of reference data. I think it is good to have a comparative study or view of master data and reference data. The master data 
represent the business objects which contains the most valuable agreed upon information shared across the organization master data represents business objects which contain most valuable agreed upon information shared across organization i think i can explain this little more later on but just understand this is the most trusted business object which can be shared across the organization whereas reference data that defines set of permissible values to be used by other data fields so when master data is a business subject that can be used across the organization reference data is a set of permissible values as i mentioned about reference data like the status new assigned then completed pending and so that's a set of permissible values only okay then master data is the data shared by multiple systems applications processes in the organization so in a typical master data management system the master data comes from multiple systems applications process in the organization so from multiple system we are identifying which is the best which is the most trusted which is the golden record then reference data is a type of master data that is used by other data fields only so reference data is a type of master data that is used by other data fields not as a organization or an application it is used by other field i think it will be uh, much easier to understand with an example so what customer information example name phone numbers address then product information product name location what are the data partner name address then these are the reference data like fixed conversion rate like weight temperature length currency codes language code customer segment cost center postal code unit of measurement so these are the visible difference between master data and the reference data then coming to another important question why are we thinking about master data management why are we thinking about master data management so initially when i was new to data management especially master data management it was not very clear to me why i should do this master i my thinking was like no master data is something called a master table i decided to understand this concept very well then i was told like this for example suppose there is a supply chain company the supply chain company if you go to the organization sector you can see there is an hr department there is a production unit there is a marketing division there is a finance division there is a business division and operational division it division there are so many divisions and you know some of the division they have their own it they develop application for those departments for example in the marketing they wanted to promote mar- and their marketing by calling the customers they maintain their customer list in an excel sheet then what happens suppose the team has multiple people they will have multiple excel sheet they will start calling these customers and informing them the newest offers and they try to increase their sales again there is a finance team they are supposed to give the payouts so they are they are also maintaining like the vendor list and you know the business team also having some vendor list what i'm trying to say is that in an organization you can see multiple vendor list multiple customer list multiple employee list multiple assets multiple dif- multiple asset list and so on, right within an organization within a company so when they make an application within this business department they will use their own master list marketing division will use their own mark um, their own master list hr will use their own ma- when they start building applications or any such uh, services they will limit the services to the, the list of people within hr list of people within marketing list of people with the business and so on. so you can see every department works in silos right every department work in silos and tomorrow so this company okay they found a new startup which is performing well they want to acquire this company b and company b also having a chart system 
കമ്പനി ബി ഹെൽസ് ബിസിനസ് സിസ്റ്റം കമ്പനി ബി ബി ഹെസ് ഫിനാൻസ് സിസ്റ്റം കമ്പനി ബി ഹെസ് ഐ ടി സിസ്റ്റം സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് വിൻ ദി അക്യൂറിറ്റ് ദേ വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു മേർജ് ഇറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് ദേ വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു മേർജ് തിങ്സ് ദേ വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു മേർജ് ബിസിനസ് ടു ബിസിനസ് ദേ വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു മേർജ് ഫിനാൻസ് ടു ഫിനാൻസ് ദേ വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു മേർജ് ഐ ടി ടു ഐ സോ ഐ എം ട്രൈ ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് നോ വാട്ട് ഇഫ് ദർ ഈസ് എ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ റൈറ്റ് സോ ഹാവിങ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് കോപ്പീസ് ഓഫ് സെയിം കസ്റ്റമർ ലിസ്റ്റ് കസ്റ്റമർ വൺ കസ്റ്റമർ ലിസ്റ്റ് ടു കസ്റ്റമർ ലിസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി എ മിസ് ഇൻ ദറ്റ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ ടു സോൾവ് ദ മിസ് ദസ് വെയർ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ കോമൺ മാസ്റ്റർ ഡേറ്റ കോമൺ മാസ്റ്റർ ഡേറ്റ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് എവ്രി ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് യൂസിങ് ദീസ് കോമൺ മാസ്റ്റർ മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് വിൽ യൂസ് ബിസിനസ് വിൽ യൂസ് ഐ ടി വിൽ യൂസ് ഫിനാൻസ് വിൽ യൂസ് ഓൾ വിൽ ബി യൂസിങ് ദ കസ്റ്റമർ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രം ദീസ് കോമൺ മാസ്റ്റർ ഡേറ്റ ഓർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി ഓൾഡ് മാസ്റ്റർ ഡേറ്റ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സിസ്റ്റം എം ഡി എം സോ ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു റിമൂവ് ദ സൈലോസ് ആൻഡ് മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് എ കോമൺ സിസ്റ്റം യെസ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ദിസ് ഇൻവോൾവ്സ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് പ്രോസസ് വി വിൽ കം ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദീസ് എം ഡി എം പ്രോസസ് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് but so far i hope you understand that why we need a mdm why we need a common master data store what are the benefits of that isn't it thank you very much for watching this video i would really love to hear from you what is your feedback about this video did that help you is there anything that is not clear is there anything that need to be improved or any topics that you would like to understand further of course this is only a beginning so we'll have a lot of things in the data management in the future sessions so stay tuned if you like this video like share and subscribe this channel data analytics talks thank you